Yo, what's going on, guys? Nasher here, back with another video. And today, I have no idea what we are doing. Every couple months, I hop on the Steam store and I search up the term hockey just to see what's coming out and see if we can find some hidden gems. Well, today, we have stumbled across a game called Lair Hockey. So, Air Hockey with an L in front of it. Words can't really describe this game. It is Air Hockey, the simple game that we know and love turned into an adventure game where we do obstacles, puzzles, and there's even some boss battles in the mix. Now, I have not played this game. I just watched the trailer. It looked sick. I knew we had to try it out. So we're going to be getting a first look at this, solving everything. I don't know how this is going to go. I don't even know if it's going to be a video, but I hope you do enjoy it. Also, big announcement. If you guys missed the news, we did start up a shorts channel on YouTube called Nasher Shorts. I'll put a link in the description below. Go ahead and subscribe over there. We are doing new videos every single day. Highlight videos, trick shots, you name it, we'll have it. Without further ado, it is time to hop in to Layer Hockey. Wish me luck. Okay, here we are. First things first, we are in the lounge. And it looks like we just have a, uh, a simple little 1v1 versus the AI. Now you see at the end there, there is a tube and that tube is going to take us on a bit of an adventure. Okay, we have made it past the first part and we approach a bigger, oh my gosh, what is that? What is that? Two robots and a Zamboni are trying to take us down. Okay, the robots just got absolutely crunched by the Zamboni and it looks like that is not where we want to go. Come over here. That says O for four. And there seems to be a little door here on the right. So it looks like we have to do four little puzzles before we move on. What is happening, dude? This is insane. Okay, first puzzle. We can move around with WASD. And it looks like, okay, we cannot fall off the edge. But uh, I assume the puck can. Go ahead and ramp it on up. Okay, nice and smooth. We will toss this in the net. Bang! There is our first net complete this jump looks a little bit sketch i'm not gonna lie C can we first of all just admire the music in this game we're gonna go ahead and pop boom we okay that was not honestly not really what i expected to happen but we will take it and now we have hit the button to probably open up a door elsewhere i have no idea come over to the next door that one's flashing and the purple just opened up so we will go ahead and come on in here oh my so we have a little downhill rally here. We have to avoid the pit. Oh my gosh, slow down, chill. So we can go around the puck. We can settle this down. Holy, it's jumping back and forth. We are lagging a little bit as well. We have settled it down. Oh, what a save. And we toss it right into the net. What a goal. Oh, you know what I just realized? Keeping track of our time in the top right corner as well. So I don't know if the time actually matters if we're just like setting high scores or what you know those like impossible games where once you're done with your five lives you're just out for the entire thing i almost feel like that's what's going on here like once we're out of our five lives we are done we'll probably have to restart the entire game so let's be careful okay so this side this side we have just completed our two let's make sure we don't get bodied by that zamboni like these little robots have been come on down the pipe I, i'm kind of thinking that this is like the uh almost like the tutorial section of the game like, obviously, things are going to get a little bit harder as we go. So, we'll just... We'll, oh, oh, my, oh, my gosh. I thought that was going to... No! Oh, I thought, I thought we were just going to die instantly if we got hit by those. But no! We got flung off the edge instead. So, there goes our first life. You can see in the top left corner, we do have five lives, at least for the time being. These little uh, Roomba hockey stick robots are all the rave right now we just got to be careful you know step by step piece by piece so again be a little bit patient here we'll get to the middle of this no rushing it wait for it to curl back around and then we'll uh make our way out don't mind if i do you know those little things at the supermarkets that you put the quarters in to like donate to charity and stuff it's one of those little uh little funnels so we'll just stay on the inside so that this doesn't fall we are using a mouse and keyboard, by the way, in case you were wondering. So the control is the controls are actually really good. You can also move around with WASD uh, if you want to like kind of scope out the environment. It looks like we can do that. Like I can leave the puck here and then uh, come over and explore. We will tap this button to open up. Uh, I assume our final door, dude. The vibe, the, the vibes in this game, man. This thing's actually like pretty well made. Like, <gasps> chill. Oh. 
So luckily we didn't have to go all the way back and do the button again because I would have been absolutely shook as we come in. What is that? Wait. Is this thing, is this thing to attack me? Is this a boss battle? What is that? Oh, oh gosh. Wait, we lost a heart. Okay, in the top right, left corner, we do have hearts as well. So we got to dang. Oh my gosh, I got double killed. Holy, we got to dangle this robot. It looks like we have to come in from the back. We do, and we make it into the net. Bang! We take those. The Roomba has paid the price. Go ahead and sit down, buddy. We have now completed all four doors, and I assume we can move back to that opening part. Wow. This game, dude. That was exhilarating. One heart left and three lives. And we will see what is in store for the next part. So here we go. Goodbye, Zamboni. Goodbye, robots. Let's see what the next place. Okay. Level one is complete. So, okay, we were wrong. I thought it was going to be one of those games where you just like literally had to finish the entire game in those five lives. But it looks like we did make it past level one. It is what it is. We will now move in to level number two. Okay, so we have a full little maze that we are completing. We just played the air hockey. We are now moving in to the dungeon with a sword on it. What in the world are we doing? Oh my gosh. We are in a maze. What is happening? So we're in a maze, but it flips back and forth every time. So we have to figure out, okay, we have to figure out the best way to get around this thing. Oh my gosh. There's no way that the, the second level is this hard. Boom. So if we come over here, this should maybe kind of open up. It does. We are literally on top of a castle making our way through. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> what is this game? For? So we're going to try to make our way up this side. Oh my gosh. The tower is beaming over us as we just try to make our way up the castle. Um, this side's opening up. So I think once this flips, we'll have the right portion and we can just kind of work up this wall. Yes. And okay. You know what? I mean, the good thing is you can't die here. Like it's a bit of a grind getting through, but we got through and we are now <laughs> entering a giant castle. <laughs> We're just a little air hockey paddle with our little puck. Going on the adventure of a lifetime. I told you that first one was just going to be like a t stranger. What does he say? Stranger. I find myself in a precarious situation. I woke up from my nap. I woke up from my nap to find my armor taken. Could you kindly fetch it for me? And he wants us to go find his armor for him. Cannot go back to the castle. So it looks like we are entering the dungeon, if you will. I'll just go ahead and take my, my hockey puck through the dungeon. Um, okay, this, this twist. So the wheel will spin. That will open the door for us. And here we go on a jolly old way. Well, we have a dungeon. There is a key over here. And now, like I said, man, what, dude, what in the world is that thing doing? I guess we're going to take the, uh, the riverbed down the end and, uh, see where this takes you. What is going on here? Okay, you know what? We're going to actually be careful. We're going to we're going to we're going to actually go down. Let's see what we have to do. So, okay. That that was a dead end. I kind of just assumed it was like a loading screen like we were going to find out more later on, but no. We have to cut it off before we get here, and that will take us to the skull scorpions that we have to take on. Down a water slide, up a water slide. <laughs> Two. Oh, there's a sword! Bang! There's piece number one! Okay, there's piece number one. We then take the water slide down. And it looks like we have to catch ourselves before we get to the end. What is that gong? What is that little gong thing? I, I have no clue. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and come down the water slide. Make sure we cut this off. Again, we do only have four lives, so we have to be careful. Oh my gosh. Whoa, whoa. Chill, 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 chill. Chill. Okay. Good. We will then come down here. Oh, no. No, 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 chill. What is that? There's an Indian. What is this, Indiana Jones? Holy, the fire rock comes down to force you down the side as well. Dude, this game is insane. Can we, like, attack this? Hold on. Ah. Oh, my gosh. Turns into flames. 
probably should not get hit by that. Okay. So we can kill the skull scorpions, but you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and void them. Boom. We got to catch this before we hit the end. We do. Bang. Easy. Listen, I knew we were getting into some madness with this game. <laughs> I did not expect it. Okay. We have collected the sword. So that is step number one. Now... I assume we're going to get another fireball here. Hold on. I'm going to take a look. So, again, we have to go up here. Are we going up or are we going down? We are going up. So, that's a dead end. So, we got to make sure we catch ourselves before we fall here as well. But we don't want to get hit by the... We, gotta, we have to actually, like, focus up here. Like, no more trolling. Okay? No more trolling. Fast. Boom. And one little... Bang. Clean. That was actually clean. Okay. We're, hey, we're starting to figure this game out. Obviously, this isn't a game you just pick up instantly. Like, now we have the rolling logs of death that we have to avoid. That door probably was open the entire time. Oh, I guess we had to go get the sword anyway. So that, that's fine. We didn't waste too much time taking the long way, the, the water slide route. And I assume we had to get that sword at some point. So we are good. Oh, a little drawbridge. Okay. So that is going to take us to the little robotic frog. Drawbridge is down. We will just go ahead and head back through the... So we have been hit by uh, another death. We have one life left. I don't know if we have one life left or if it may... It might go to zero and then we have like... We might have two left. I don't know. Let's go ahead and see what the uh, robotic frog... Oh! Chill! <laughs> Yo! The robotic frog has a death tongue. Oh my gosh. Let's try to get over to the gong. See if we can have the robotic frog hit the gong with its tongue. Robotic frog, chill, 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 chill. Maybe actually, let's just go see if we can bop it. Oh, okay. That is, that is a shield. Now we need to find the armor. So, where's the next place to go? Can we actually go up this pipe? We cannot go into that pipe. We have a key. Where will the key be? That's the question. But we've seen, we literally have seen the entire map, no? I feel like there has to be something in that room up the water slide because it just feels like that entire place is pointless because we literally just, oh my gosh, chill. Let's try to kill a couple of these. Little bop. Like maybe one of them will drop the armor or something. There's another. There's no more. There was a couple that were sitting on these pipes, but I don't think they're there. I am a G! I am an absolute genius! Let's go! Is that... Let's make sure that's the key. That is a key. Okay. So we grab our key. I can probably just come back this way, yeah? Okay. Let's go, boys. Hey, we are out here learning. Opens the door. Let's go. Now, the, I mean, the room look, looked kind of empty, except the... Yes! Yo! Let's go! We're breaking some pots! There's the armor! We got all the parts. Time to go back. Okay, we found the sword. We found the shield. And now we have found the armor. Let me just make sure there's not anything hidden in these... Uh... Okay, there's nothing hidden in the pots. Dude, we actually... Low-key, like, I felt pretty smart doing that. Much better, thank you. It's evident you do not require my protection go ahead okay i mean i did i did lose four of my total lives and we have one maybe two left go ahead and walk up the red carpet and uh enter the next oh my gosh dude there's still more what do we have here um tiles a spinning death wheel a floor rotating floors and okay Okay, we literally have one life left, and I'm probably gonna have to redo everything if I die. So let's just go ahead and take this very, very slow. We will oh, are you kidding me? Dude, it dropped so fast. Okay, we do have one more life left. This has to be the last life. That thing literally drops instantly. Okay, I'm just gonna try to wheel through this. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, they all fall? Chill. Okay, this, this one does not fall. Okay. We made it through this part. We now have the machete of death. <laughs> so it looks like we have to wheel through one of these uh, little, little points. So I'm just going to try to fire it through right as, right as we have the space. Bop. Okay, that, that was dumb. That was dumb. That was dumb. That was me. That was me. Little bop. Okay, boom. Boys, I, it's been 13 minutes. I'm not trying to do all of this over again. Okay, spinning wheels. Let's go. Boom. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. 
you have ran out of lives. Retry or exit to level menu. 15 minutes. We have to go back to the maze. Are you kidding? I'm not going to make you guys watch this again. I'm going to grind through this. I'm making sure I keep all five lives. We'll get back to the spinning wheels, okay? <sighs> Give me a few minutes. All right, it only took me four minutes. We are back to the tiles. We now know what we have to do. No worries. We just got to get to this tile. Boom. We go through the machete. Let's go. We can go to here. That one spins twice. Back down to here. And then we can get to the exit. Okay, that's actually not that bad. We can time that well. We'll uh, go ahead and hope for the best. We got to fly. We got to fly. We got to fly. I, got, I just got lost. Boom! What a save! What a save! I, I literally, I've been using WASD to look around, and I just realized that that moves me around as well. So I was using the mouse and WASD at the same time. Just not a good combo. Not a good combo at all. This is where this is where we have to be a little bit. Oh, it moves! Holy key! We don't have a key. We literally don't have a key. Can I kill this thing? I cannot. Okay. Um, yeah, there's literally nothing here. I'm gonna go ahead and head back, I guess. We'll go back to the start. We do have to still keep our we we do have to keep our lives because I don't know what I'm doing the rest of the way. Let's see, let's see what's in this room. If we come in here, okay, the, the machete is here to kill us, of course. <gasps> Wait, can the machete hit the door? Hold on. Okay, we're focused. This boys, if this actually works, this would be 300 IQ. And I know some of you may be thinking to yourself. You know, may maybe Nasher looked up a tutorial to try to figure this game out. I don't think anyone in the world has even played this game. Like, I literally might be the first person to ever play this. So I'm just going to sit here. We'll wait for the Roomba to come over. Maybe he'll bop the door in. Roomba. Dude, the Roomba doesn't go. What do I have to do here? Go, go, go hit the door for me. Dude, I am I am telling you right now, I am not restarting this game again. There is no shot. It doesn't seem right to go over there. This one does have the Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Dude! It appears that these are uh, firmly in place, so we can just go go nice and slow on these. So that's good news. Oh my gosh. GG's. GG's. Well, that's I mean that's it. That's it. I'm not doing it again. No way. Hey, we're doing it one more time. I'm saving all five lives back to the maze, okay? I'm on the grind for you guys. I'll see you in a few. It feels like the machete thing has a purpose, though. Is that is that fair to say? This might literally be the hardest game that I have ever played. We are going to play it smart here, okay? I'm going to try to get this guy to, to, to bury this door. I think I might just have to, to maybe sacrifice myself and sit right on the door so then he chomps down on it. Come over here. He's chomping the wrong way. Turn. I don't know if you guys are paying attention. It's been like six minutes of me just sitting right here, waiting for this guy to turn his. Oh my gosh. It doesn't open the blade. Are, are you kidding? How does that not open it, dude? Keep on moving here, buddy. Dude, this game is a joke. What do I have to do here? Okay, I knocked him off the edge. I, I literally knocked the guy off the edge. I sacrificed myself to knock him off the edge. Tell me he dropped. Are you kidding me? The entire time, all I had to do was just knock him in. Okay, now we know what we have to do. We just have to ramp. Boom. <laughs> that was his save of the year. <laughs> Yo. Hey, boom, boom, boom. Okay, we fall off. Boom, we have literally one life left. Are you kidding me? Let's go. The key is ours. We now take the little shortcut. Okay, hey, we've already done every other part but this. So we know what we have to do. We do have zero lives left. And, uh... You know, things are looking a little scary, but at least now we know what to do. That's all that matters. We're going to fly through this. How did I get stuck on... I'm going one more. Last one. Oh, my gosh. Dude, go in! There's literally a force field around him! Okay, I'll take this. I'll take. I'll take the death. I will take the death. That is fine. 
We take the death. We we get the we get the guy out of there. Now we only have two lives left, but that's okay. <gasps> no! <laughs> How does it rotate? <laughs> We have made it back to the key. We do only have two lives left. The death zone. We saw what happened last time. We're gonna go fast. How did I hit the wall? All good. All good. All, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. GG's. Yep. GG's. Okay. That's it. That's it for today. I'm done. I am done. I am rattled. I am shook. I have never been this mad playing a hockey game, and we've played NHL 15 back in the day. Okay? That is going to be it for Layer Hockey, episode number one. If you guys want to see me absolutely rattled again, and you want to see me keep trying this thing, let me know in the comment section down below. I'm definitely down. We can do this. All right? It's just going to be one of those impossible style games that we have to grind again and again. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to let me know. I went through absolute torture for your guys' entertainment. Hit the video with a like. Of course, hit that subscribe button. We are on the road to 1 million subscribers. And make sure you go subscribe to Nasher Shorts as well. That's it for today. I'll see you guys next time. And peace.